have his platoon brief here in a couple seconds, we to go to the and we'll get going. In the tower. Oh, Pony didn't send me his plan. Right. Pony always has like okay. pictures and things. Uh, the the our technical um we're, look we're gonna put OWI in a gulag. It's gonna be great. Uh, but for now, got to deal with these militia fuckers. Um, so has assault already explained the plan, or did assault not get any of my? I waited for you. I wanted you to do it. Take that as option two. All right, let's roll into this plan. Um, so here's how we're doing this. We got a bunch of militia. Oh, what the fuck is with all these helmet marks? Good God. Um, we got a bunch of militia positions that we got to recon. Oh, great. I'm, I'm not. What the heck? Hold on. I'm bringing up the map so you guys know. <laughs> this is so bad. I'm like, I can't even place markers. There we go. All right. Let me just mark boundaries of uh, where we've intercepted some militia communication signals. They're calling this uh, Operation Arrowhead. They they've built a basically a giant, a giant like triangle of a defensive perimeter. Uh, and we got to go find their communications equipment, take it out, and then make sure they don't you know go back and try and salvage any of it. So here's how we're gonna do it. Off alive, we're gonna have our helicopter conduct some recon, make sure there's no militia up in Kilo Ten. At the same time, we're going to be rolling as a platoon convoy along the eastern MSR uh, up to basically Lima 11, and we're going to dismount. We're going to set up order in the trench, Lima 11-5-3, or thereabouts. Uh, the rest of the platoon is going to be pushing more or less directly towards uh, the, the triangle, and it's going to kind of sweep the triangle in like a curve going from right to left, except for the other half of the, the mortar fob squad, who will go and set an ambush in Juliet 12. Uh, to try and knock out any enemy um, logistics convoys that may or may not be operating. If they aren't running any logistics convoys, then, you know, that, that basically that fire team will become sort of a reconnaissance and flanking fire team and will help screen the BTR. There's a, the movements for them. They know what they are. Uh, and we're just going to, yeah, we're going to finish our sweep over in the, the hill area in India 985. And by then, we should have encountered and destroyed the militia fob. Any questions? Question. You said we're dismounting in Lima 11? Correct. That's, uh, I could say, 200 meters away from their possible fob location. That's what the helicopter's for. If the helicopters tell us if they're there or not. If the helicopter says they're there, we'll obviously dismount earlier. However, if the helicopter says they're not there, then we uh, dismount at Lima 11, more or less. But yes, that is, you will need to be prepared to dismount before Lima 11 because the helicopter might say, well, they're all there, in which case we're going to dismount at the bottom of the hill uh, in, like, November 11, and then march up to Lima 11. What is the ROE? Like 10. Uh, free fire zone. Anything anything that's moving, shoot it. Copy. So is, is the heli strictly reconnaissance, or is anyone loading up and transporting it? Question. No, we're not transferring people in that helicopter. All right, okay. uh, everyone to your vehicles. Uh, so, first off, no, plan... Shut up, no questions to the vehicles. <laughs> no time. Plan is uh, to out. scout out K10 uh, with a helicopter, and then uh, move in and dismount Lima 11, and then do a search up and west, sort of looking for infantry. We're sort of looking for the FOB. They're heading right to the enemy, it seems. <laughs> Not going to use the uh, helicopter as a transport, probably for the best. They're going to use it more as an attack, an attacker role. We'll see what happens. Is it live? And we're live. So let's get the trucks out, but then three's going to take point. Helicopter, let's get you up in the air and doing some recon. I'm going to clear out all the marks. So, checking his plan out, just sort of figuring his, his uh, how he wants to uh, uh, approach this. I do like the the idea of just like oh west to. West to east, uh, east to west push with the helicopter as should uh, be interesting. A little rocky start, probably just because Pony on in a little late. Ran over his plan, didn't have time for questions, and just had them load up and get going. We're going to follow the helicopters. It's going to be the one that most likely takes contact right off the bat. They got BVD Runner on that 50 cal, waiting to fire. Are we expecting mines or IEDs? No, we are not. Roger. Not on this release. Just, just push the lead. 
Alright, helicopter, give us a nice flyby on Kilo 10. Tell us what you see. Oh. Can I join the spectator? Unfortunately, you cannot join uh, as a spectator unless you are uh, actually playing in the op. They're shooting, but they're missing. They're trailing us quite a bit. Fuck, oh, they're shot. On high ground. Uh, I think. I can't. To be honest, I can't tell that. Remember, BTR, if you're on the swivel, they could be uh, they're trying to fuck ground. around with technicals. So they are being shot. A helicopter is getting fired on by a BVD. Actually, really good. Help. That's actually very helpful. Is it near the bridge or is it further away from the bridge? That's a very good uh, point right there. This is the bridge they're talking about. Is it right, actually no? That's not the bridge they're talking about. It's uh. Yeah, that is the bridge they're talking about. Missed the helicopter. Where'd the helicopter go? A very wide circle from the helicopter. I like it. They're, they're trying to keep themselves safe. Things aren't loading in for me. I gotta get lower than the helicopter. We'll see what happens though as we get closer. Oh wow, he's doing a dive. Is he gonna crash? No, he's not. He's alright. Command, we're circling back around. We had contact on Tech is moving north on the MSR and Julia 12. Could not confirm grid, but we do have we do have eyes on enemy contacts on high ground. Hey, someone's in the road. Engaging. Dismount, 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 all dismount. Stop the well, dismount. Good movement. Is Money, Money Man the pilot? Vibes, yes. Money Man is the pilot. Uh, Phoenix is yeah, the radio man. They'll Kilo swap next round. Intel. We're just getting from the helicopter. Let's all spread out. And, Let's go check out uh, positioning of the actual team. I was following the helicopter too long. I didn't realize how quickly they were moving. They got Red 3 on the west. They got a scout. Uh, actually, he was just setting a mine. Um, they got Red 1. On uh, Coyote Ridge East, Red 2 on the south, moving east, and Come Red on, 4 on point proper. Get moving. My guys are moving. I'm moving southwest. I'm gonna yeah, follow let's move south. Move northwest if you have to, to get covered. PTR should be able to knock you guys pretty good. He's got a nice, nice little fight. Looks like they got caught out. SPG shots fired at the um the BTR BTR miss or uh, it missed the BTR get them Zeke yeah get them Zeke Zeke's got an MG in a really nice little bush boy position they need to uh, change their plan and adapt which Howdy Ridge the Lima the Kilo ten through Mike ten enemies all along the ridge line all right now. Uh, let's go ahead and have two and four, yeah, flank where, where you're flanking, three stay where you are, one stay where you are, that's all good. I'm gonna go try and find a medic. There it is. You want squad one yet? located, Lima 1179 headed east. Copy. So, who, um, the Russian team just got ambushed as they tried to pull up the road moving west. They're gonna spread out, get a platoon line north to south moving west. Something gets blown up. Oh wow! They need to spread out. This is spacing right here. This is a fiber cycling out and hot go down to the same okay, RPG almost. The, the position. Yeah. I don't know who's three just pull back. Look at that! Another rocket goes down. Almost takes a uh, uh, Zaki. They just need to move. Squad looks different. Yeah, uh, they keep updating it. Squad uh, is continuing to uh, improve. You should mark those contact with smokes and calling a uh, close air support. I smokes. Yes, that actually makes a lot of sense. Zaki goes down to an RPG. That's four down to the same SPG. Another SPG goes down. Driving BTR. Yes, but just tell you to get your people to cover. Coolest guy is gonna get killed. Oh, coolest guy goes down. Wow, this this squad just got decimated. How's it going, Mr. Yuzi? Try and bring it around to where two and four are. Guys, you're gonna have to loop 
wider than you're currently looping, you're going to end up in that ditch in M11, you're going to get cut down. You guys got to go all the way to like the, the M13 ridge, basically, so you're going to have to end up at this point. Awesome. Alright, three. Coming. Yep, three, if you can, extra... Are they in the f yes, it's they panicked. They, they got out, they panicked. Huck told them to just shit, like get low and hide. This isn't gonna hide anything. Your backpack sticks out. Like even on on high graphics, they're gonna be able to see you through this. Yeah, this squad just got decimated. This is the BTR squad. It's got the BTR still. Hopefully, it can keep those alive. The the uh, militia have to worry about more. Excuse me. The Russians have to worry about mortars. So let's go check out the movement of uh, Blue One and Blue Two as they try and move in for the point. They're marking them with smoke. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go south. Really good MG5, but we are airborne here. Where's the helicopter at? There's the helicopter. Hopefully, I want to see it lay some rockets into them. So, as all this is going on, we got Red 2 on the south, on the high ground, waiting for uh, Blue 1 to push up this hill. They're just waiting. Talking guns, fellas, yeah. Kilo 10. So actually, we're, we're just going to loop around through the airfield through Novo. Fuck it. No Copy. reason you can't. I can literally uh, start ferrying you guys with a laundry truck, actually. What are these? Squad, I'm in the and I'm gonna start Who's firing these mortars? Not the U.S. This is just really bad mortars from the, um, best mark the, the red militia. Smoke. It's hard to see contact up here through the trees. Copy. There was an FPG west. It was kind of uh, up the hill, about 200 meters. Yep, that's why we gotta make this a quick pickup. Oh, there, get, get in quicker. Talking about this SPG, boogies. They spotted boogies SPG, uh, manned by a cardian yeah, hijack. The that's right. Those trees won't show them when they look from uh, far away. Yeah, that's why Phoenix was calling out for smoke. Loop around the north side of the map and get to the airfield. Or actually, no, what you're doing now is fine. Just head to the airfield um, and stand by there. Okay. Repositioning the entire team about. Right. Yeah. The the they're going to move south, south, south and, and then in. Just, just get in the airfield. To keep, follow, keep moving, follow squad one on foot for a little while. We'll come grab them in the next run. Copy. Boogie, watch that BTR the entire way. And now he's going to now he's gonna see a trans truck. This is where you open up on. You open up on the trans truck. Do it. Do it, Akardi. I believe it's Akardi. Or hijack. Akardi's driving. Not gonna fire? No? He sees him, right? He has to see him. No, nope, doesn't see him. Blue one's in position to try and uh try and assault this, but their backs if they yeah, if they approach this from the wrong angle, their the, backs are gonna be against one. On the radio tower. On the radio tower. Well, okay, their fob can't be on the radio tower, but I, I, they're probably on the radio tower position-wise. That makes sense. Radio tower. Radio tower. Oh, that radio tower. Yeah, can man be advised if the, if the radio is... That shield view, weapon, though, it's... Yeah, it's, 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 it's actually really bad. Copy. Yeah, the radio's definitely gotta be Kilo 10. Uh... So they're, yeah, they're definitely going to be in Kilo 10, 100%. Let's check out the uh, the building that Dwarf has managed to go. Update on kills. One for the Russians, five for the militia. So, as devastating as that uh, that blow was for the U.S., or excuse me, the Russians, they're, they're, it's, it's not as bad as, as I made it out to be, as I made it sound. That squad definitely got decimated by a couple well-placed SPGs, but um, they can definitely still come back from it. Good presence of mind for uh, one to move south and get out of line of sight from blue, uh, red four and red one. Red two is in some trouble now if they get flanked. Yeah, everybody's still looking west. They've lost sight of them just about. They got to know which direction they're moving. BTR friendly, 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 friendly. What the? BTR, what are you guys engaging? Uh, you're not, you're not saying anything, buddy. Spy dwarf in a castle. Dwarf in a castle on the mortars. 
Sounds sounds about right. If they they've got mortars, Dorf isn't gonna waste anybody else, any any other squad member to run the mortars because he can command from the mortars and it's just easier. It, it leaves the other squads their full man full man up and it's easier to uh, get things on target when you're the one calling out the targets. Uh, two force out a little bit. Stop. You're you're heading the wrong way. We, uh, we're gonna head through the valley, not not up on top of that. I like um the path that blue one has chosen to move okay, up here hopefully they keep maintain the security yeah, head towards Novo. Head towards Novo. Okay. The liberal pundits watching him though look at that look at liberal pundit okay. he has to see no he's not looking look where he's looking he's not looking at all liberal pundit what are you doing to those stragglers i'll go pick up the stragglers from before there he goes there he goes he sees him he sees him he oh, sees okay. all of them took him a minute Tell him to head to the, and uh, assault uh, may go down here train. no he didn't he didn't take the shot if i saw the squad lead i might i couldn't have been able to resist he's just watching look at him you, you imagine the comms going on because I it definitely would be a local thing. He's probably just like screaming in squad comms. Hey, They're the, uh, 25 meters to my south. You're gonna be coming up on it. Copy. He got passed up. Not as a spy sees him. They're staring right at each other. <laughs> Not as a spy takes the shot. Oh, liberal, what were you doing? And uh, they are. Uh, their position's now given away. They got contact to their west. MG firing onto Revy and Helicool. Both gonna have to bandage. They got one guy on the flank here. Oh no, James James Simpson has gone down, apparently. I'm not sure from where. The waiting him. He spotted. Yeah, that was just like a stare off. That was a solid like four or five seconds where they just stared at each other. And then non uh, Spy yeah, took the shot. With that, I uh, this puts it's just a, a a fight to the west, overwhelming to uh, blue one overwhelms uh, red two here, and this could be really good for them. Help them get those kills back that they uh, they lost with three, if they can take out red two here. Keep I gotta keep tabs on the helicopter. The helicopter, like that's the thing is like. I feel like I need a, a separate dedicated camera guy just for the helicopter to follow him around so we know what's going on. Because it's not realistic for me to, to stay up with the helicopter the entire time. Because there's stuff going on all over the place. And I like the, the on the ground action, the individual comms going on here. Only thing I really want to see from the helicopters is some awesome strafing runs. But for the most part, they're just going to be scouts. Scouts and, uh, and just gun runs every once in a while. You gotta know when you've been spotted. Permission to shoot, right? <laughs> He's probably asking for permission to shoot. Never got it. I mean, that's discipline right there, I guess, but as he usually says it. Gotta know when you've been spotted. He was staring at you for several seconds. Just take the shot and then try and run. Reloading. Loading. Really accurate mortar fire. Really accurate. Spread it out a little bit, and this could be devastating. Nice. Oh, mm, I was gonna say okay spacing, but it it is at okay because it's they're they're spread out, but they're spread out in clumps. There's a guy here. There's a guy here. Two right next to each other. Two right next to each other. Three right next to each other. So they're semi. It's like they're trying to get spread out, but they don't want to leave their buddy. As uh, yeah. MG from a Cardian H hijack. Blue one looks like they're just gonna break contact. Alright, from here we're gonna actually just start heading north basically. I think this is pretty decent, uh Command, hell yeah, eyes on a ton of fucking smoke to our east on the ridge line. Is that you guys yeah, popping yeah, smoke? Yeah, yeah. That's me popping smoke. I'm trying to break contact. Oh, that's a good thing. Heard, let us know what you need. Seven, how close is it? Could we hit the, the okay. ridge line at L twelve or M twelve and potentially get him? Uh, look at the BTR. It's actually got some a really nice angle there. B uh, um, this uh, techie goes down. Nice. Really nice spot. Four belts left. Four and a half. Yeah. BTR put itself in a really nice position here. Destroys the techie. A Cardi is down. Oh, Cardi was a driver. Look at the rockets come in. Look at the rockets come in. That was cool. 
to my east. That was so cool. <laughs> Uh, two, you see them? It was actually a pretty good rocket, uh, rocket uh, right? No, that's, that's, that's friendly. Friendly, friendly, friendly. Alright, watch yourself, guys. Come on. Two, go ahead and get yourself up, set up. See, like, the divots in Near Dishka sounds is nice. Yeah, I agree. Usually. Near Dishka sounds really nice. Sounds powerful. One be advised, Heli's about to fly right over you. If you can engage the enemy, either with smokes or tracers, we'll be able to dial in. Which. If not, no big deal though. Fine. Want to see this gunner? Look. Helicopter's flying over. Setting up for a gun run. Or a rocket run. Dude, let's get moving. Come on. Yeah, copy, remove it. That's the dishka from the uh, the NSVT from the from the helicopter. And it's just raining down fire onto them. It got hit. Helicopter's going down. It got hit. It got hit by a rocket. Oh no, the helicopter's going down. What a, what a run. What a run, and it goes down. Oh god. Yes. What a rocket shot from the, who, who did that? Who shot that? That was an, that was an, S, that was an RPG shot, 100%. That was Bartok Warrior. That was a great shot. Bartok Warrior landed it on the uh, on the uh, the helicopter as it ran, as it flew over him. Easy shot, sort of lined up for him. Yeah, so two, get ready to spam some frag grenades. He slowed down, I think, was was what you you, you saw him dip a little bit to, to you saw the helicopter dip a little bit to sort of like swoop in, and it lost a lot of speed. I feel sort of opened itself up when it and when it when it reared back up. Sort of stalled yeah, a little, got hit by the RPG, and then it tried to get out, and it was, it was done for. That's where you're gonna end up. Dedicated that. Someone got cocky. Yeah, Mr. Easy, I agree. He, that was a, it was a very... The first gun run was really good, because you saw how fast it was and how high it was. It didn't allow that RPG to uh, to get an angle. But this one was much slower, much more ballsy, and uh, they paid for it. A couple good runs for them, though. They didn't get any kills, but they, they scared the hell out of these guys, 100%. Like, just... <laughs> Just imagine, like they were running. This is why I wish I could do the multi cam and have those the, these guys as POVs. We'd 100% had uh, Tom Peach's POV there of them just running, getting shot at by the helicopter. Yeah. That's that's experience right there. I think this is still very salvageable. If we if we wipe out whoever whoever they sent to retake the ridge, if we can kill these. So update on kills: seven for the Russians, six for the militia. Russians bringing it back. Negated the the advantage that the uh, uh, militia had gotten early. Let's see if they can capitalize. Blue has taken control of the high ground uh, uh, south of K-10. Red 2 is going to fall back, moving northwest. Red 3 still in the town. I don't like this call. I'd like to see them move in a minute. Uh, Red, uh, Red 4 on the point proper. Red 1 watching the eastern flank. Still not sure if that, that flank is completely secure. The only one I'm sure they... they they can move is, is red three like that the only one if i was command i'd be sure to move those guys because we're not taking contact in our west we're taking contact in our south and our east reinforce two or reinforce one but don't keep him in the town unless he's waiting for them to be a long flank or like a late flank all right i think we get mortar and that's it for our mortar fob so uh you can build Copy. some defense is the btr on its own the btr is not on its own it, it has infantry with it see it's got it's got a little bit of security of sad year and captain virk yeah, that year and Captain Verick are going to be that security. This is the re the remnants of Squad 3. Uh, squad 3 mostly got wiped out over here by the transport trucks. So I think this is, yeah. How disappointing. Squad 3 is all but wiped out. What happened at anyone? I missed it. The helicopter got shot down. Uh, Fortifier? Fortifier? The helicopter got shot down. From an amazing lat shot by Bartok Warrior. I believe it was Bartok Warrior. Let me confirm the name just so I make sure. Yeah, Bartok Warrior. What is the mission? This mission is an attack defense op. The, or search and destroy op, I should say. The Russians are tasked with searching for and destroying a militia communications array. Set up, I'll bring up the map very quickly, and one of these mini grids. Sort of shaped like an arrowhead. Uh, they have chosen the K-10 location, and so that is what the Russians are attacking. They did have helicopter support with rockets and uh, machine gun fire, but uh, that helicopter definitely uh, it went down. Because it's gonna be yeah. I don't want you guys sitting around here doing nothing. It'd be not fun. 
Yeah, okay, cool. cool. So build the tube. This is the the I'm your commentator for this evening. Mission. Shadowed Ritual. I want you to go up and support, support the BTR with three. I like the spacing. The, the Russians were had some questionable spacing early on. I felt, but uh, I feel like they've cleared it out, cleared it up a little bit, and yeah, now they're now they're in. Yeah, this is some solid spacing. It's getting better. It is a little clumped up here, but uh, they're mostly the base of fire. Still could see some more spacing from them, but it's all right. Here's this is this is spacing right here. This is quality spacing. Take a picture. Oh, there we go. There's How it's done. One. Sounds like you're getting hit from your side. And mortars too. Uh, one, give me, give me some. Do they have any vehicles? The um, the Russians have a BTR, a couple trans which they've abandoned, and a um. It had had a helicopter, but it has been destroyed. The militia have three logistic trucks. A an SPG techie and a discotechie. They've lost one of the discotechies. That SPG techie's got to be almost out of ammo as well. Look at those art. Look at those mortars. Quality mortars. Oh, a hero takes one on the head. Good mortar fire. How's he looking on ammo? 2,000 ammo left. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, 2,000 ammo, which is something like 20, 20 tubes. Right. It's about, a, it's about, it's 90 per reload. Okay. About 20 tubes. A little more, maybe. Viper getting shot at. Look at the, look at the M. Wow, Viper's just getting chased. Look at the dust getting kicked up around him. Run, Viper, run. You gotta run through mortar fire on one side and uh, machine gun fire on his other. Viper's gonna make it out. And uh, militia do, uh, Russians do have a mortar uh, with 1400 ammo, about 14 tubes. Each tube is about three shots, because, you know, that's how mortars work. They load three at the same time and fire one at a time. Right? Right? BTR's getting really aggressive, apparently. What did this questionable movement from the BTR? Can I use Logi for transportation? And it is hurt. Yes. It's 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 engine damage, 100%. If you're interested in participating in these events, check us out at squadops.gg. SPG or a rocket shot from Bartok Warrior goes out onto the uh, the BTR. This BTR just he done goofed. 100%. Should not have been up this far. No infantry with the APC infantry fighting vehicle. Dead vehicle. I I, I agree, one hundred percent. You need that infantry support at this at this day and age of squad. You need infantry support, or it's just a sitting duck. Especially now that it's turned its rear to them, they're just gonna roll up that SPG tech. Even if it's only got one shot, it's oh it's done. nobody's in, nobody's in the SPG tech. They're not rolling it up. It's done. Uh, Infantry's inside still. Yeah, there's still two. Actually, no, there's three. There's three in here. One of them had gotten out. I saw a dead body. Alright, three. Go ahead and uh, really go forward. Dismount your head down the side here. Your left and have just kind of. Okay, I like the, the reposition of three on the right, south side of the vi village. It really forms a nice line here for them to uh, defend from. Good, uh, good movement from the uh, militia. Yes, absolutely. If you want to swing around. Like, I don't know, like, dismount yourself and leave a tent. Don't, keep, something don't go forward, go back. Fall back. Yeah, but in a field, it needs to run like hell. In a fight, they should be dismounting the vehicle, support them to maximize your pain. Get out and push. This vehicle is hurt. This vehicle is so, so hurt. Uh, over in that general direction. I don't have eyes on the radio tower, but they are Does that make sense? Tower. Copy. Right, Check out the uh, rest of the happens. movement. This is Ding Chavez's squad here. First time squad lead. Let's see what he can do. Set up your bipod to the uh, right of the street. We just buy through the northeast. Stand by. Northeast. Hey, Slud, where are you? I'm here. That can't be right. All right. 
All right, this tree right here. I'm going to set up right, uh, right now on that tree. Bye for, for mortar, so it'll take a quick second. Stay in your what are your guys' Stay opinion medic, on this? Getting set up right next to the up. side of a tree. I th the they idea is more. that it's, you know, they some kind of cover on your side and you can get, um... Get behind it if you need to. But on the other, the other hand, the other argument is, uh, what's, what's it called? It's like tr tree cancer or something, like a, a growth on the side of the tree that looks awkward, and it's easy to follow you back or, or find out where you are. I think the argument can be mode, made both ways. Copy that. Yep. If you have to push uh, further west before you move north, then feel free to do so. Once you. Mortifier. This mortifier has been on point for uh, oh, door. Salt's risky. I like it though. Alright, I got a fire team. You guys run mortars. We're gonna pull back. Copy. I was, back I was gonna go far west, but I figured it'll just take too long. Yeah, but this is. Eh. Well, well, we'll see how this works out for you. <laughs> so. Hey, pony, can I, uh. Remounting one back up, and they're gonna try for an eastern push. We'll see what happens. Yep, sounds good. Yeah, if you wanna head okay. to the airfield and head north into Nova, that's, that's fine by me. There's no fucking cover Alright, I'm gonna hold off on mortars we have to move to hit. Spacing again, yeah. Spacing gets... The, the later the op goes, the more people forget about the, the, the most basics of things. And spacing is one of them. One mortar takes out four guys. Let me give him some space there. Look at that, has that presence of mind. I love killing people that think they're hidden behind a tree, right? You want to be spotted with cover or without cover? That's a great. That's a great argument there. If you're behind a tree. You better be moving and checking all around. Tong Peach is keeping tabs on this BTR. Not a not a lot. So not much he can do as far as um, destroying the vehicle. But giving the team the knowledge of where that vehicle is at all times is just as valuable. Duplex is in this uh this match. You're gonna see some cinematic as fuck videos from him soon if you check out his youtube page he's always he, he's uh he records our uh our ops uh every once in a while and he, he does some good videos there's enemy mortars incoming on julia 12 7. he's right gonna get does. shot in the back by those infantry guys in the ditch you're not wrong but he's got some time yeah roll back you have to just a little bit roll back i think that's the call is roll back your 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 positioning is ambitious at best Foolhardy at worst. I guess it's not. It's, yeah. it, it's, it's not smart. I don't think I used that word right. Kind of good. Oh yes, they're close, huh? Juliet twelve. Wouldn't let me join the server. It was crashing or something. Um, it's password protected, Kyle. That's probably it. If you uh want to participate in this event, you got to uh sign up on the website squadops.gg. Make sure you have your squadops basic training tags and uh then you hop in pre-op they'll pull you into live op and uh then you get the password yeah, they're chasing us they're chasing us motors incoming now in julia 12 8. copy means they have eyes on us yeah they got eyes on you they're gonna have they're gonna have infantry spotters all around um there's a guy in the fucking grass northeast of us like 10 meters i can't only aim the gun low enough and he's just turn like back left a little bit so i can aim lower Yep, yep, yep. Oh, Tommy got spotted! And he's dead. <laughs> they got him. By accident, I believe. They're, they're engaging us at such extreme ranges that I honestly, it's, the time is not really like... Do you think they should add dolphin diving on running and then go to... And then going to straight to running? Um, dolphin diving used to be a thing, they got rid of it. Um... Now there's like an animation uh, now because Dolphin Ivy used to be completely right broken. Like it was so easy like yeah. that, I, and I have the problem of I I played for, I have like 2,500 hours in squad. Um, I played a lot with the Dolphin Ivy, and it is still a habit I'm trying to break. But it was it, it didn't do much to make the game more fun. It just meant 
You, you could go prone faster and start firing and maybe get the gun up. Now there's like a, a little animation because not many people in full gear would just dive onto their stomachs. With, I mean, I guess adrenaline when you're being shot at, sure, somebody could dive in full gear. Now there's like an animation where you're like drop to your knees and then slam down on your stomach. And it still looks pretty cool. Just leave it in the ditch. The Russian gun depression almost up, right? They almost, a Tom Peach almost got out of there. Tactical Adidas tracksuit didn't save him that time, right? Look at that, you saw it? I think Travis did the, the, the dolphin where like he falls to his knees and then he drops down onto his stomach, which is almost as fast, but you can't really aim. Yeah, excuse me, yeah. We're still looking at Kilo 10, right? It's a kind of dolphin dive. I like the path that, uh... Militia has chosen. There's the rest of them. Oh, wow. They they didn't go for an eastern flank. They're going for a northern flank now. Interesting. I, I, I'd have gotten a little bit closer. You probably could have gotten into, into like, here and then pushed in. We'll see. Yeah, we just want to carve out eastern Novo. And then assaults. Three, I'd really... We're jumped and then press Z? I have not. It's the best, your best More of a drunken dive. Drunkard dive. Yeah, my way of true. Alright, no um, kill teams slow. have come to kill me, so I think, um, I think they're probably, they don't know where our mortar fob is, which is good. However, don't expect to have mortars for long. I'm sure they're gonna have people up on this ridge, and, uh, those people are gonna come kill me really quick. So, try and make those mortar targets Is accurate. this maximum speed? Well, from is, is not really a thing you want to have in a video game. I, I agree. It just felt, it always felt kind of, like, cheap to me. But I, I, I definitely did it. One to command. You flop to the floor if you do. Interesting. Kilo 10 5? Alright, I'm gonna start ordering that then. Kilo 10 5. Perfect. Standby. Uh, do you have a sub key or is it just, should I just hit Kilo 10 5 5? I would just is it hit more, the middle 5 5. Is it close to rock formation or is it close to like the, the just in the middle of the trees? Pull off. Sebby, let's move whenever you're ready. I'll, I'll be adjustment. Have they repaired the engine yet? I'm sure they have. I, we saw, as I was flying away, I saw him get out. And uh, they probably repaired the engine, but it was like a slight uphill. You see how they're going a little bit faster? But as soon as they try and go uphill, even at like half engine power, like, you're not going anywhere fast. There's kind of a chance with the infantry here covering us. I bet the guy in here who's just a passenger could walk as fast as the BTR is moving. And they're, they're trucking. They're going. Look at it move. So majestic. Copy. And then it slows down. We got the ammo, so. Only gonna get to be able to play instead of watch. Awesome, Jacob. Hope to uh, see you on our ops soon. We will play often. Uh, ping is not is like ping is not as big of a deal as as in other games where it's like super important. Before you engaging? Mortar's going. Yeah, where are these mortars down, dude? Who's firing those? Two trains to the, the northmost MSR and then sweep Interesting. up the Four, just make sure to yourself. One has been so spotted. Um, but ping is not as big of a deal in squad as in other games because yes, ping helps with how you shoot, but suppression is huge, positioning is huge, and and where you fire is huge, and it's not. The only thing where I feel squad or where ping matters in squad is when you're driving vehicles. That's when you really notice things. But it's it all comes down to your positioning, and just suppressing is just as good as fire or as getting the kill. Mike. Did you see you killed the Militia Techie? Um, the BTR killed the Militia Techie, hijack you. How's it going, Jim Asmus? Usually it's someone mentioned power ping, power I'm on about 180 ping on See, yeah. It, it's all about your, just your positioning and suppressing. You don't need to get the kill. You don't need to get the kill to be effective. And if ping's really an issue and you feel like you can't shoot that well because of it, be a medic. 
play your game by keeping people alive and that is a lot of fun I used to uh, whenever I played a medic a lot I would always be like I'm gonna beat you and revives other medic and I'd try and have you know the most revives that's how I won my game oh looks like four is in contact now four has gone down Dean Chavez went down to uh, possibly extra let's check out what happened Oh no, that was a mortar! That had to have been a mortar. Because that is four people dead. Holy shit. That had to have been a mortar. Or if it was a grenade. Either way, that's spacing right, for you. Four last reported contacts, J1146. Uh, so, it's that little farming compound right at the, the eastern edge. You were in the techie hijacking? Yeah, yeah, the BTR got you from uh, some pretty good range. Stay to the north side of that middle island. You should have a good approach. I, th I want to know what that was. Is that an RPG? Was that a frag rocket from anybody? No. IED possibly? No, they don't have IEDs. It's a, it's a breacher. It had to have been a mortar. Unfortunate I missed that from Ding Ding Squad. When the command will start my sweep south, we're gonna at least go the north all the way to the MSR just confirm. Let's deploy Daisy at like two hundred fifty ping on Germany and Russian servers. I'd shoot at somebody on Tuesday and have to wait until Thursday to loot them. <laughs> Pretty good movement from the uh, Russian team so far. They uh, they change up their plan significantly, moving instead of moving east to west, they're moving west to east. Okay, uh Okay, amount of guys left. They got 10 kills for the Russians, 13 for the militias. They get a couple extra um, from the that mortar kill. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it does, it does it go any further? Yeah, Pony, we're thinking Kilo no. 1055 is accurate. Did not. Copy, Kilo 1055. Uh, is that 2 or 1? That just, oh, I think that was 4's guy that just got fucking tapped. Kilo 1055. Yeah. Instead of Kilo 3, 5. Which, or Kilo 10. Three five. I'm just gonna, gonna take a saw guy. I'm just gonna shoot real quick. No, so that's a bush. All right. No, that was somebody. Sether's there. It's a bush though. Right, Sether's gonna have to bandage. Because the mortars stopped. I didn't notice that. Kilo ten five five. I'm gonna hit it again. Yeah, they're dropping mortars on me now. They're making adjustments. It looks like. Stand by 342 151. Stand by, stand by. I'm gonna get them off those fucking mortars again. Spacing, guys. Spacing. Let Squad 4 be. Squad 4 and Squad 3 both had some uh, questionable spacing. And uh, looks like you're about to fall. Fall into that as well. Go check out these mortars that are being rained down on Blue 1 as they try and move in from the north. Alright, two in contact north of east. Copy two. How heavy is the contact and where is it? I'm gonna get into a bit of modding. What mods do you think squads need right now? Hmm, that is a good question. I'm not actually sure what I would want from a mod. I think the, the only advice I would be able to give is make something that you would want to play, and there's probably something it's probably something other people want to play as well, and it just means you're going to want to work on it because it's something you want to do. And who knows? If it's awesome, people might uh, play it. If, if you're looking at... If you're, if you're thinking like maps, those are more likely to get picked up by more people. Whereas like Copy. assets and things, they gotta be pretty well developed before people decide they want to use them. One to command, they're they're on those rocks at Kilo Ten Three Seven area. That's where hey. the sandbags are. That's a good call out. Installed us, huh? That's a good call out there. Yeah, uh, cannon fodder. Yeah, those mortars were one hundred percent off. Shots the rocks. Nine shots out. Stand by for splash. Two houses. Yeah, okay, we're, we're getting wiped over here. They're mortaring us and they have guys in there. What do you want us to do, command? We can go north and then east, but I mean, we're not going to have much success. Uh, BTR, really go with the cup of two and just drive them directly into the farms at J1089. Copy. Air copy. 
Like, literally just drive through the town, picking up two guys, and just ferry them directly to the fucking farm. We're gonna try and make a, a Blitzkrieg attack. Three One standby, and then, uh, It's probably better right, to two but, mount up. Two mount up. It's, we're not gonna be able to get back to you. Yeah, alright. There's yeah, contact uh, between you. Just three, try and bless your BT. Jackals and Pumas, you saying you should add those? Have you seen the, the mod where you can kill animals? Or it, it's it's like a hunting mod where it, you play a game of squad and there are animals in the, in the environment. I think it's only on uh, OP First Light. Um, and uh, yeah, if you kill the animal, you get more tickets. Pretty neat idea. I never played it, but it was still a pretty neat concept. Yeah, I'm burning the rest of the ammo, softening that area up for you, Assault. So, just gonna get out. They're gonna reposition and try from the- They've- w They've completely circled the, uh, the Russians. Good mortars. Those mortars landed almost right on top of, uh, Muffin Man. Hey, you can mortar the whole ridge line with the radio tower. That's where they're all at. They're at- They're from the radio tower oh, yeah, all the way to Kilo 1038. Muffin Man's gonna get out of there. Alright, radio tower, stand by. I'm on about British fix. Oh, okay. I was like, I don't know. Jackals and Pumas. Got it. 36, I don't know my uh, British vehicles. I guess I, I know British World War II vehicles. Mostly because of um, if you could drop Postscriptum and uh, Steel Division. In between the radio tower and that rock formation at Kilo 1062 is where they're at. Copy. I can see him moving around on the ridge up there. You gonna take these shots? It's Boogie there. You gonna take shots at Boogie Assault? Yeah, he is. Boogie makes it out. Oh, that's not a good idea. Mortars potentially kill 1184 in radio. Looks like that's where they're firing off from. Alright, band is now, uh, moving on foot. You got all rounds landed. Copy. Negative, all rounds wait. A lot of rounds were extended on the, uh, the previous called out location, so there wasn't much left of them, unfortunately. So as far as kills, 10 kills for the Russians, 20 kills for the militia. Are the Ruskies too withered down? That is the question, Skelly. That is the question. I think so. <laughs> Take a look at the map. Uh, it's a little tough to see with the admin cam. Still got a really nice healthy hold on the point in a, in a sort of arc fashion looking north and uh, west. I'm not really going to have to worry about the south. Plenty of guys in the the village to counterflank when necessary. Blue trying to break contact and move north. Blue two trying to break contact and move north, not having too much success with it. Blue four or excuse me, blue one has made it up to the trenches just south or excuse me, just north of Coyote Ridge. But four people against the world. I'm not sure what they're going to be able to do. Um, technical 100 in front of us down the street. Copy three and take it out. Great, that's uh, India 10 5. They could keep the BTR in the back and have it put fire on the enemy from a distance, There's combine that with some mortars, and then the boots can get the advantage they need to make the push. The mortars are out, so that's off the table, but I agree. I don't think they utilize the BTR as well as they could have this up. Um, it did take out a dish Kentucky, so that's, that's okay. But I, I feel with its, with its very aggressive position, yeah, line beam goes fire. down to a mortar. Yeah, um, with the um, the aggressive positioning towards the the, the start of mid game, it it, it screwed to itself to whenever it it, it lost machine. its engine uh, power, and now it's working at half engines. Copy. Where's the rest of squad one? Dead. All dead. Stand by. I have us on radio tower in one moment. Got a lane no control way, overlay for the map. That updates only once a shot hits an opponent. Land control over. I'm not sure what that means. So just, just do your assault and I'm gonna try and link up with your That's assault. That's not nice. Well, I mean, that dude got nicked off. What a shot. 
Oh, oh yeah, that's Mortar Tube Radio Tower. Tower. Radio. It's, it's 100% Mortar Tube is on Radio Tower. It's like, confirmed. Serpentine. Do you got any smoke left? Serpentine. Are they you from the no. southeast? Yeah, I think the mortar's been buffed. They don't seem to speed out. I think it's more the people using them have been buffed, as in they've been playing with mortar for so long, they know how to uh, guide them in and get them exactly where they need. It also helps that you know there's there there are websites now where you can just use the a calculator or do Pythagorean theorem, whatever you want to do. So, their, their approach is going to be from the north with one with two guys, and from the west with two with four guys. DTR still alive. Command is going to make a play for the mortars, uh, try and lighten up the, the emplacements hitting you guys. Copy, one position's been marked by enemy red smoke. Understood. Yeah, if we could get the BTR. You want me to engage these snags or what? Depressing. Actually, if they had a full squad here, this would be an amazing place to have a base of fire. Like, we still have almost perfect, in my opinion. Yeah, feel free to engage. Uh, I need. Hold on. What if we get prone and stay in the ditch? But I think they're actually north of radio. Yeah, this would be a great place to have a base of fire at. You've got some. You got. You got the the low ground. It's susceptible to mortars. That's for sure. But to pop up, shoot, pop up, shoot, over and over again, and have people maneuver from other angles, this would be great. I think this is a really nice place for yeah, the base of resources. Do you got to worry about their south? More cover across the field, the enemy has the advantage then. Do you want me to press or just stay down? Placements directly in front of command. Uh, just stay down, stay down. Keep crawling. Right. Right. Keep crawling. Dude, if you can get up here, like it's a straight shot in, basically. Kilo ten six. What is he gonna die? Uh, correct. They're they're like <laughs> literally the command's northeast, one hundred meters. I can hear them firing. Probably better for him to go hook back up with his Engage squad. We'll see if he can do anything Engage. here. I'm not sure he's gonna be able to do much. If he's probably gonna take out Bartok Warrior, but I don't know how many from there. Uh, you can engage their sandbags. I got guys over here. No, Bartek Boy is gonna run. No visual contact this time. Oh, he sees Bartek Warrior. Serpentine, and he's dead. Bartek Warrior goes down. Yeah, Project, you left BTR anywhere near. Who gave FTOs binos? Yep. FTOs now have binoculars, which is why we've sort of limited them in the kits. Um, uh, we've taken away the ammo bags from everybody and give them just to the ammo bearer and the FTL. The FTL now has a, a smaller ammo bag, only about 50 ammo. Oh, I spotted him. Oh no, is it going to hit the tree and bounce back? Oh, that would have been crazy if it did. Yeah, um, but uh, we every every squad gets two FTLs, but most of the time the squad gets one FTL kit, yeah, about, oh boy, which the the kit is just it has the binoculars and the ammo bag. We're coming for you. Oh, still alive. Don't Northeast know. means northwest. Crawling away. Yeah. All right, two's engaged. Copy that. Hella cool and Revy making some good progress here, but they're gonna get flanked. Look at these guys just waiting to move. Thor, good guy, KFC, Crystal, Oddball, see there's Exta. They're in the rear, they're ready they're ready to go. I like this push by uh Revy and Hella Cool. I don't I like the movement that the Russians have been doing this entire round. I just feel like they've they've lost too many guys to other things. Five meters from command. They, they, they've lost guys for just spacing, reasons spacing. they could have been avoided. Spacing um, when, it, when it came to Hawk. Spacing when it came to Ding. Um, the, the BTR with yeah, its aggressive positioning. There. like They're just simple things that sort of compound on themselves. And uh, they are suddenly 
phone. He goes down he's, to uh, Boogie, it looks like. Command just went down. And uh, it, it, it's like small things, it just here and there, small things, and then all of a sudden they're down 15 to 24, and it's a tough one for the Russians. Grenade out. Almost. Boogie's gonna have to bandage wherever he sees him, though. If you want to push to south, I'll have IZs. Ruby doesn't seem We have sandbag. Now he does. There he goes. Get back, Taking get back. Run east. back. Taking shots east. Run back west. Go around the other way. I got him. I got the squad lead that killed command. Good, Good movement there. Who's this? Um, this two. Okay, two. Actually, wow. There's actually quite a bit of people here left. One, two, three, four. Seven guys? I count nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Eight Russians versus. The remainder of the contacts, it looks like. Tony Chameleon down there, two. Eleven. Okay. Seven versus eleven. So it's not. Yeah, when you're out of, uh, a complete loss for the Russians. They can still come back. They still have this vehicle advantage of the BTR, even though it's not as maneuverable as it could be. I just moved man to my 120 behind okay. the behind the tree. Okay, 120 you know behind the tree. The fat the fat one the fat one right side of this. Black. Black by our tree here. Can move up a little bit. Right there, that tree. I lost it. Gonna put the soldier on the tree. Yeah. Left, right, left, 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 left. The fat direct. Yeah, that's. I don't know if that's a good descriptor. The the, 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 the fat movements. tree, because the tree to the right yeah, yeah, of the yeah, similar that, color that, looks close in my opinion. But I'm not sure how you would uh correct from there. I guess brown. You, you see, t I would I would probably say you see these two brown trees that are. X, wow. Wow. What an RPG. It takes out Frederick and Captain Dylan. I, I don't think that was an RPG. I think that was an SPG. You heard the whistle, though. Dad year goes down. Should have said 1 o'clock from the driver. Yeah. That actually makes sense. 1 o'clock from the driver. I had probably said, you see the two brown trees by the sandbags? It's the left brown tree. Something similar to that. But uh, the, the fat tree was not as, as good of a descriptor as it could have been. The thick tree. It's fat shaming. Can't have that. <laughs> Not in this day and age. My money's got his back to a fire team. Oh, let's check out the fire team here in the west. Where are they? Where are they? Are they in the trenches now? Yes, they are. Southers comes up, kills uh, uh, kills another, and that is GG. Wow, that ended so quickly. There was like seven of them, and then there was none of them. Great job for the militia. Good hold from them. Good job on the Russians for their uh, their adaptability. No GGs. It's alive. Oh, it's, it's done. Everybody's dead. Yeah. So, good adaptability on the Russians to keep moving around and try and find a spot. I just felt it was, it was little things here and there. They lost two guys to... Two guys to an SPG lost another one. Splatoon brief as guys. he gets his guys ready to go. You guys did fantastic work. Uh, last fire talk especially, that was absolutely beautiful. Shooting the helicopter down with a lat. That's why you're the best red latman in squad ops. <laughs> uh, latman. Uh, elite, fantastic take out the BTR there at the end. It really fucking saved us. Um, everyone else did your part. I'm proud of you. This time around, we're gonna win where they couldn't. Uh, 
So starting off, UG squad is gonna load up in the. That's fired. They're gonna go basically from the to the west, cutting down until they get to this location marked the five. Uh, they're gonna smell there. And they're gonna meet, uh, move directly east into Novo. They're gonna take up positions in Novo, wait for the rest of the platoon. The rest of the platoon is gonna move west on this. We're gonna get into West Petrivka, dismount West Petrivka, uh, clear through Petrivka, head south. Um, Boogie's squad is sitting up platoon mortars here. Boogie's squad and the BTR will find a good position to dismount their guys and have the BTR in a good posi position to support our push. We're gonna hit them from the uh, northwest. We're gonna go this way. Just sweeping along. It's pretty standard. I mean, just sweep through. Uh, once we get more set up, uh, we'll have boogies, uh, boogies, more guys, fucking drop rounds on heads, and uh, that'll make our job hopefully a lot easier. BTR guys, be very, very, very careful because they have a lot of anti take assets that can fuck our days up, and I really don't want to lose you guys too early. Uh, luckily, though, we have closer support. The helicopter wants us as primary mission of transporting Yuji squad. Will be giving us closer support in the form of rocket runs and 50 caliber machine guns. And I give him free reign, so. Uh, chain of command will be the same as before. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Are there any questions? I have a question. All right. Oh, okay. Uh, what's the damage model for the BTR? Like, how many lats can it take? I, I believe It'll it's take modified. Two. two. Roger. All right, let's go. Fucking get ready. What's the lifetime? Oh, right. So they're going to have a plan. Second. They have a plan on uh moving in from the north and... Heading south, see if it works out for them. They're gonna rely heavily on that um that helicopter for close air support. We'll see what happens. I like to see. I like to add some factions, give them some real characteristics. That'd be interesting, uh, Jacob. Maybe we're using on the same team squad. It's quite confusing. I mean, not to call you a liar. Then trans, then log trans. Can you boost your mic? A lot of event admins and whatnot on this side. Never mind, you're good now. Get the vehicles lined up. You're right before. That order. Have I been called yet, or has live time been set yet? I don't think so. The hell? It's nuts. You said 742? Ish, yeah. 742. We're standing up. We'll have about six minutes. They're actually gonna have uh, infantry in the helicopter. Interesting, interesting. I like it. Trans goes in. last in the order, he said. They can use it as a trans truck. Whatever. Or a trans helicopter, I should say. Engine's off. Let's go check out the militia position. We've got some time. We'll already be in it. AFK. Okay. Oh look, there, this is where they are. J8, which I believe is a position for them. <laughs> yeah. They are here, right? Where are they going to load in? There they go. Finally loaded in. Wow. It's a swamp defense. I need to catch the, uh, the brief. Are dismounting with infantry. What? Basically, I don't want the enemy looking for the radio in the swamp. I do want them attacking the swamp, but I don't want them thinking that the radio is actually in the swamp because, uh, as it's not a very defensible position. The, the whole game here is basically to make them wonder where the fuck it is by putting people on all four corners, kind of force to try and scout around while we're plinking away at them, and also to funnel them into the kill zones in between each different squad's strong pointed location. What's the uh, tactic with the uh, techies? 
They don't hide well in uh, swamps. The technicals. SPG technical is hunter killer looking for enemy vehicles, um, specifically the BTR to take it out, and possibly even the enemy convoy. You know, if like they head west, for example, off live, the SPG is going to have a clean shot on that BTR, so it should be able to do some real damage. Uh, then also the Dishkateki is going to be tasked with basically fending off the helicopter. Because it does have, you know, the disc is pretty good anti-aircraft gun. Agreed. Right. So is my AA. You missed the perfect opportunity to call this Operation Swamp Slot. This point yeah. Oh, what happened to him? What, what oh, the hell? Um, he had he was set, I mean, allergies. He was sent another question, funny. Not so, another question. Uh, yes. Log. One more uh, question. Shouldn't we move the vehicles out of here, or not to oh, lead them uh, to the swamp? So we are. We're gonna put the vehicle. Cut out, buddy. He's talking to Molly Oh great, my my local key stopped working. Okay, so here's how we're doing it. Um, we're putting all of the lodgies on Kilo 845 on the bank of the swamp to lure the enemy into attacking through the swamp, thinking that they're going to like be able to use them for cover. Uh, and the, Because the, the enemy are probably going to think that our FOB is in G862, because that's the closest like terrain feature slash set of buildings it could be in that would be Hard not completely insane to use. Um, so yeah, we have about 36 seconds, so you guys got to start building and heading to the edge of the FOB radius. So I'm going to cut it there. Uh, if you have any complaints about this plan, please feel free to to you know lay them on me in, in AAR. It's not a it's it's a stupid meme plan, but uh, those are the best kind. They're always fun. So I hope you uh, all LARP as Francis Marion and kill fifty Russians each. Uh, I I demand at least three kills from each of you before you die. If you do anything less, it's very disappointing. Go out there and just fucking wreck, so wreck some you. Russian imperialist pigs. Oh. All right. Pony. Operation uh, Swamp Slot. My squad going to. I'm green. We're going to the construction. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and get on the the uh, Russian side. They'll be blue this round. The militia will be red. So it's a, it's a. It's a farce. So it's a fake fake out. There there the fob is in in the swamp. But they are going to defend here, almost, and then draw them through the swamp to get them in the kill zone. So I like it. It, it, it. It's it's risky, it's bold, it's different, and we'll see if it works. I've never seen a defense of the swamp before, and I'm interested to see how this works out. And, and they've done some things with the swamp since they've uh, created it. It is. It, it used to be just completely empty, like it used to be just water. All right here. Now they've got some high grass in here. They've got the stuff in the middle with trees and and uh, brush. Like it, it's it's completely changed from what it was originally, and I, I like it a lot. I, I'm interested to see this how this defense pans out. Um, specifically where they're gonna set up their defense position because he says they want to draw them into the kill zones from separate squads, strong points, which means he's already got those strong points picked out. Spreading out a little bit, I think they're getting they're getting spread out to go build before live. Does everyone else see the marks in L8? Get out of my swamp! No. They're playing Shrek. That is so weird. I see markers. What kind of markers? Like uh, yeah. fire teams. Did you I guys on mark them. Did, Were you guys one who marked mine positions? Okay, that was the other team then. Militant communists are like onions. <laughs> I think the server needs to restart. Make people cry. Yeah, it's, it's edgy right now. Poor postscriptum never gets streamed. Um, I, I'm not gonna say never, but I don't stream them as often. It's because I already stream all the other events, and uh, if you don't know, we have uh, Squad Ops One Life events on Wednesdays, twice on Saturdays. We have Postscriptum events on Fridays, and as I believe it switches between SOT and another event on Sundays. So there's a lot of Squad Ops events going on. If you're interested in participating in them, check out squadops.gg. All you need to do is sign up on the website, take our Squad Ops basic training, our Squad Ops tactics and training course, only about 40 40 Five minutes to an hour long and then you can participate in any and all of our ops 
you want. Once I get some more commentators trained up, Seth, um, we can and probably will get them streaming those other events that I can't do. They smell and make your eyes water. <laughs> Live in about two minutes, or excuse me, it was 42? I believe you said 42, so 11, about 30 seconds, I want to say. Axe used to do a POV for postscriptum. Yeah, uh, but Axe is just getting getting really busy with real life. Um, but, uh, yeah, once we get more people, like, it, it, the only people who have streamed recently is just me and Axe. Backpack sticking through the wall. Peter sticking through the... Created a squad, right? I have. Is this American or EU? Uh, what do you mean, Obi Von Oblivion Nook? Um, are you talking about with the server? The server is located in uh, in the U.S. Actually, I believe it's located in Canada. Helicopter spinning up. When is live? Live at one or seven forty. So live in about a minute. Okay, then I guess the ping would have been high for myself in Norway. Um, yeah, it'll probably be high, but uh, it's not super bad. The people play with high ping all the time. Like, look at that. Chris has got 500 ping. I don't think that's normal. 200 ping seems about normal. 300 ping, yeah. And yeah, there he goes. It drops down. Um, like, uh, th this time is meant for our EU guys. Unfortunately, we don't have an EU server. But this time is meant to be more accessible to folks in the EU who want to participate in the events. Even though I'm, I'm fairly certain it's it's still like 8, eight o'clock, 9 o'clock for you guys over there. And I'm next door to you and it works fine. See, Scruffy says it works fine. That's the thing about squad is, uh, I said it last round, like, you don't need amazing ping to still be effective. Yes, to pilot. You'd, you'd have an, uh, an almost impossible time trying to pilot the, the, the helicopter with any kind of uh, efficiency. But uh, just if you're just a regular rifleman or just a regular person on the ground, you can suppress just as well as anybody else. You might not hit your target, but you'll hit around the target, and that's just as good. Man, Jacob, that's that's ambitious right there. It's gonna be a lot of work, but uh, I mean, if you show your progress, they, they definitely um check out the wrench from the the official squad website. They do like a a monthly like modding showcase, and you can get a lot of support that way. Not like financial support or anything, but like people saying like, hey, you know, this is awesome, and they'll give you like suggestions and whatnot. Um, on that, and like that's how people, like the people who are creating like the the French Foreign Legion, um, ma uh, faction, like they they post on there all the time, and it, it might help you. All right, where do I start training? Checks out um, Oblivion Squadops .gg. We do have yeah, we have a basic tomorrow. I don't know if we have a basic later on this afternoon. Honestly, I know we have a a, a training in between the ops. But uh, I'm not sure. So, uh, we are live. We've got the helicopter flying right over the Dishka. Oh no. Is it getting shot at? Need to make new user? Yeah, you need to make an account on the website. But once you make an account on the website and you link your Discord, you get a free whitelist spot to our public servers, which means that every time there's a line on that public server, you skip right to the front, right behind anybody else who has a whitelist spot. But, uh,. It's better than being at the end of the line. <laughs> they give a white flag to the French. Funny. It's only like 10 character models, a couple guns, and Vicks per faction. I mean, depends on how detail-oriented you want to get. Add in 
whatever you want to to a faction to make it uh, unique. Follow the helicopter for while the rest of the infantry gets moving. Off the bat, they got red uh, three with a techni techie moving north. Looks like they're gonna actually engage the convoy. I'm gonna fly that way. Helicopter's gonna land soon. Oh no, they got out. They had red two move southwest, red three move northwest, and red four move northeast. This scouting techie is on the hunt blackbeard and we are airborne oh no they flipped it <laughs> oh no was this an spg techie this was the spg techie what an oopsie training tomorrow yeah oblivion check it out um on the website it is in your local time unfortunate un fucking fortunate <laughs> It's so bad. Yeah, make sure you sign up. You have to register for the training event. Even if you are on the waitlist, I still advise showing up because uh, a lot of time there's there's a thing called we we call it waitlist shock where the waitlist is so long people are like I'm not gonna get in and then they don't show up and then the people at the bottom of the waitlist ended up getting in because of it. Show up. I mean, the worst that happens is you you don't get in and if you don't get in, you can just play regular squad with the people already in the Discord isn't as bad they're scouting a colony of ants very closely right they have that um <laughs> that uh, spg on the ant pile they don't want it going anywhere dismounted from dwarf in the uh west petrovka area dismount or dismount of troops from uj key onto the novo area i like this spread very very nice uh two-pronged uh, assault getting ready We'll see what happens. So the Discord you can join? Yes, it's on the, the main um, homepage of SquadOps, or SquadOps.gg homepage. There's a link to the Discord right there. That's so sad. Oh, that's so sad they lost an SPG. I'm sad for them. Who do they got driving this? Atomic Peach and Exit. Atomic Peach is an amazing gunner and driver, but uh, of course he's going to be in the uh, in the uh, PPR. We got nothing at the Kilo 10 grid just yet. Uh, stand by, we're going to do another run. Dog, can you some eyes, Juliet 9? Copy Juliet Juliet 90 Kilo. Clear. 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 Just listening to local comms right now, seeing how they go. Do you like those fancy Euros? Yeah. The Euros look nice, the covered Euros look really nice. Unfortunately, he couldn't do anything about the that, that seat where they stand up. You know, um, with the uncovered ones, they kind of stand up peering over the top. Um, they're still standing up, but their head is poking through. So. Can't win them all, but it definitely looks. Yeah, I, I like the covered one better than the uh, open open one. Scruffy sweet. I think they should uh, move one fire team at a time across the field. If they get caught, the entire squad is in trouble. I agree. Bounding. It's it's one of the basics they teach in um basic. <laughs> Our squad ops basic course. Like the squad ops basic course is at like it's, it's in the name it is just the most basic of information what is bounding what are what's a file what's a column um basic okay. phrasing and things just to get everybody on the same page a lot of stuff you know people who have any kind of like previous military experience it's a breeze for them um but there are some people who don't know it and we've got to you know make sure everybody is on the same page which is why we re we require it for everybody human periscope <laughs> Dish goes firing on something. Man, he was taking dish to fire just south of the village. Somewhere in Kilo 731. Uh, Stephanie Village? Yeah. The grid is Kilo 731. Ah, uh, I hear that. 
Try and make runs on. Is that a technical northeast? Most likely. It is a technical yeah, northeast. Shooting. Uzi, get the BTR uh, for northeast. Are they gonna flip the technical? Intelligently. A drive-by mechanic would be cool to use your pistol from the um. They're trying to save it. I don't know if it's gonna work. You gotta hit it from the side. You're gonna try and flip it like that. This this thing is dead though. It's gonna blow. Dwarf, do you want our fire team shifting more eastward, or are you clearing south? Southeast. That's fine. Let's go southeast. Man, you want me to the side of the road or cross over? Nope, it's dead. No, you're fine, but you are. Just utilize cover and conceal them as best you can. Alright, we're gonna continue our waiting. RIP! Their discotheque lasted all of like three seconds into the op. But, uh, we'll see if they can, uh, Clear through the town and start roll heading, with uh, the punches. Where's the helicopter at? Four copies all. <clears throat> Set up. Way to the south. Understood. I'm gonna fly over there. Who to follow? Who to follow? Um, they got blue three moving southeast, blue two on point proper, blue one on the northwest moving southeast, blue four and Novo moving north. Blue three is gonna be the ones you take contact first. Already spotted. Uh, Ding Chav is a spot here. Get some grids for the mortars. Grid is G eight four one. G eight four one. Copy. Was he moving east? Where was he going? That's Juliet. Juliet 8. Nice call out. Really good call out. Juliet 8 Oh, I have eyes on. I'm moving up the street here. Yep, I have eyes on. You can spread them southeast. Everyone or Beard of Lat? Um, they're falling back? No. They're not. I have eyes on Bob. They're setting up an SPG or a dish or something. Oh, well, I got enemy in the tree. Mm -hmm. Two, come to me. No, I don't see any contacts. Just keep an eye out to the east. Coming. So time on the eight. site is in your time zone. My uh, PM is afternoon, Oblivion. They're hiding in bushes or to the... Coming to move north. Yeah, it would be 1,500. They're all over this far side. How far? Uh, yeah, probably would be a good meters. idea. Because right now I know what they are talking about. Position. They marked that helicopter with... They, they marked the, the position with blue, uh, blue smoke. Hopefully infantry can uh, gu get their fire guided in. MG fire from a uh, blue team onto red. Very effective. Forces Ding Chavez and his squad to fall back. Surely they heard the BTR down there. Yeah, the yes. BTR is not a quiet vehicle. They just popped smokes and ran. Yeah, the, the, the way they're using the BTR right now, not as effective at, or not as um, aggressive in their positioning as they, the, it was last round but I like this better because it is definitely like there's no way it's gonna get flanked if you got infantry all around it look at it it's pulling out in front of the infantry yeah it's it's risky it's it's it's, it's a it's a game of tug and war where they push forward then the infantry's got to move forward past it it's just bounding infantry and vehicle infantry and vehicle just bound back and forth with each other those mortars get, took too long to get guided in. This area is completely abandoned. Let's see where they land. This is where the, the target was called. Oh, that's good splash. Good splash. Oh. Push it further. They spotted Pony. Squad 1, there is contact in India 998. Oh no, they spotted Pony. 200 meters east. If you guys need immediate mortar calls, then give a call them up and we'll, we'll drop rounds on heads. 10 4. Command, Kilo has north of the village, someone Kilo has 8 feet. Not exactly. Rogers. Look at that. That's who they're shooting at. They're shooting at Pony. 
There's a helicopter at. The helicopter is being so timid this round, it doesn't want to uh, put itself in that same position it got in it got itself into last round. Who's so we probably station? won't see as aggressive as gun runs as there were the first round, unfortunately. But I'm still waiting for some good stuff out of you. Juliet eight nine, or sorry, Juliet nine eight four. Juliet eight nine four. Do you guys need mortar in your coordinates? Hmm. You guys can clear out Juliet 984. You can fire there. Yeah, it looks like he's just circling at the moment. The, the helicopter. It's gonna wait for like a confirmed target, like an easy target. Somebody can just get over it quick. And uh, and then get out. Can't sound more the heli. I'm watching the stream at a park and there's a bunch of IRL helis and prop planes around. Interesting. It's a slow, deliberate movement from three and three's BTR. I was about to say they're working very well together. It's two. It's two and three. Who's got a fire team up here with three? I like this line. Look at this. It's an L-shaped ambush, just about. Um, this line moves east, and this line will move uh, north, and will just destroy anything in its path. I really like their position here. Good movement by Blue Team. It does open up their east. This is a, this is a concern for them, where 3 can definitely go to flank. Looks like 3 is moving to flank. But uh, it definitely opens up their, their side. You're it's just uh, all I can see towards uh, 140 no, 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 southeast. Uh, Southish is just like what 25 meters out. That's it. Right. Spread out a little bit. I'd like to see a little more spread. They're very susceptible to mortar fire right now, but I don't think they know exactly where they are. Update on kills. Zero kills for the Russians, Command. one kill for the militia. What's your status? We have eyes on a stationary dish as well as sandbags. Uh, standby for grid. So we're in kilo with five, six. Sandbags and digger. Roger, can you do a rocket run on it? Copy, rocket run coming. This is this is what they're they're gonna do a rocket run on pony. All right. Can you repeat enemy fob uh, location? Q eight five six. The sandbags unknown on fob. Spotted it. Wow. Four is moving east. Watching this helicopter, I want to see where this comes in. At. Banking. Turning away. Huh. I'm gonna go up there and I'll follow it in. That'll be the better angle. About to do a rocket run. It's the only reason I'm, I'm following this so uh, closely. Really good lines from a uh, Russian. Stop flying away. Come back. If I don't catch it, Diplex will. I'll just catch it later. <laughs> oh, we just got to the north. Go to your north port. Yeah, we gotta engage my machine guns to our north. Roger, spread out. Get, get, some, get some yeah, good spread. Good. Keep that. contact. Keep 360, because you never know where to be. One, keep pushing. Three, keep pushing east. That's good. I could have a stream confirmed. Where they're flying over now is the swamp. It's not loaded in. Oh, I know. There it is. There it is. Look at that run. Oh, beautiful. 
Beautiful. It, ta it doesn't take anybody out. Nobody actually really in the position. Except uh, Assault and uh, Hellcool. They make it out. That was a good run. What round around? Rooster uh, 6, we are on the okay. second round. It's 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 dead. Copy. Okay. It took a rocket. As I looked away from it, it's dead. That didn't land safely. But all right, there is down. enemy contact in Juliet Eight. <laughs> They're dead. The three buildings there. Helicopter go down. Unfortunately, the helicopter has just gotten wrecked both times. <laughs> so, not. I mean, I, I guess that just proves like the helicopter's not a broken vehicle like it, it can't carry a game as well as like the BTR could when we first brought it into uh, our ops or like an actual tank would like it can't it's not it's not invincible is Diplex heated plane Diplex is recording so you'll probably probably see a really cinematic uh, video on his uh, YouTube you can go check it out King Chavez goes down looks like Nomad getting fired at from Tom Beach no no yeah King Chavez had gone down to uh, this BTR Reloading. Update on kills. Three for the Russians, two for the militia. Yeah, I, I like Tiplex's videos. Tiplex's videos are pretty, pretty fucking good. And then there, there's Karma's videos too, which are, are really good too. Roger. Uh, let's just so, this line is sort of switched into mm -hmm. like a curve. I'd probably... I'd maybe push these guys a little further down the hill, keep, keep eyes on these rocks here. But um, okay, no, you're you're. They're probably their positioning is fine. Those rocks are not as good as it looks like on the uh the map. Look at our front armor on the enemy friendlies all around. Yeah, this is this is how you use the BTR. It is an infantry support vehicle, infantry fighting vehicle, armor personnel carrier, whatever. It is not a tank. It does not go off on its own. It needs to work together. BTR's not wasting ammo. BTR's killing things. How was your push going, Evan? X just got one. Uh, so Atomic is driving extras gunning. Cross the rotor, follow four. Let be getting shot at. Wow, what a shot from Bartok Warrior onto Assault. It, RPG. This guy's a monster. Who gave him this RPG? This guy is up. God, this guy's crazy! What a shot! Heels are very vulnerable. Yeah, heels are, are very, very vulnerable. As we seen, have seen both rounds. Unfortunately, I missed the the shot that took it out this round. Yeah, Bartek Warrior definitely landed that shot, right? Yeah, yeah, he got that. Squad one's gonna be pushing. Squad one's about to. Spacing's people. Give me yeah. mortar cords. Kilo eight four. Still infantry there. They're about to get flanked. Kilo eight three four four four. One, we are pushing north to cut them off. So first off, Phoenix and Money Man are alive. They make they make it out. Helicopters done for though. Where's the the husk Enemy that is the helicopter? Five. Not sure. Let's look at this. This is this is look at the sneaky sneak that is Blackbeard and his fire team. Karma Cut Lane are or gonna be the base of fire if they peek this way, just so they're not all caught out. Blackbeard I monies and we are airborne, crawling through the field, trying to get as close as possible before yeah, engaging. Have they done any other medic ops besides they one they did like a month and a half ago? What do you mean medic ops? Like where people can get revived? Quick scratch looking, not seeing anything. Maybe? No, he sees karma. He sees karma. But I don't think he realizes how close anybody else is to him. RPG out doesn't hit anybody. Money's pushes boogie. Good push on I Money's. Right. Most contact coming from the center 
They're getting pushed, Dorf. They're getting pushed. Well, what's the call, Dorf? You just running, or are you gonna try and hide and take them out? We haven't cleared your northern rocks, so watch out. You guys have to go quick, because I'm getting fucked. We're getting fucked here. I'm running away. He's gonna run. That's probably the best call for him. Where Airborne goes down to uh, Akardi. Oh, wow. Nice little sneaky spot from Akardi. He's gonna get out and run. I like that, though. That was a very sneaky spot from Akardi. Just down the axis of the, uh, the, the, um, the fence. I bet you Blackbeard flipped the techie. You're, you're probably right. It was Blackbeard and um, we are Airborne who, who were in the techie. I'm not sure who was driving. Yeah, we're moving now. We're gonna oh, and three pulls the trigger on the mortar fob, uh, effectively disabling it. The mortars are all but done for. Akardi's going to try and break contact, get across the street. Is he going to get across the street? Nobody has the angle on him. Yeah, he's going to just get across the street. The dwarf is going to make it out. But mission success for the militia, they've disabled uh, Russian mortars. Update on kills, six for the Russians, seven for the militia. It's an even game. Over here. I agree. I think Dwarf's in a little problem, so I'll take over. How are you not dead? Yeah, how is he not dead? Those are hitting just to the side of him. Oh, I'm good. BTR is just gonna move. Get shot. Yeah, I saw right. that. Squad, it literally landed like in him. Get on those rocks no, it landed to the side. It looked like it landed to the side of him. Oh, he actually just landed like body. Yeah, Evan, you take over for a second on the attack. I gotta. They didn't get the HPT. Yeah, Dwarf is still alive. The Dwarf is gonna still maintain control over his platoon. Look at this. Look at this. This is good. BTR positioning. He's got infantry surrounding him. He's not going to get snuck up on, and he's just going to be a powerful asset for the millet Russians as they try and push and clear out this swamp. Look at him. Any better? Completely surrounded. Well, I guess he's got his rear to worry about, but his infantry in his front and off on his flanks. I, I, I really like it. Has shit on of trees as well. They're hiding behind them. Not much. I'm going to push a fire team and squad two should push, all right? We'll have three in my fire team suppressing. Yeah, their only concern is their rear. Um, I'd, ideally, if if Squad Three has manpower, he'd leave at least one guy on rear security. But he's gonna keep his guys on the assault. Keep moving, but keep your eyes on the west. All right. They want us further east. Keep spread out. I would need getting all of us. South, if I were you. Are more still alive? I see militia. You're gonna run contact if you. I think he's uh, dead. You've... He's dead. The one that's right in front of you? Yeah. Alright. We're gonna have contact on our ass here pretty <laughs> yeah, <okay>. quick, so... <laughs> Viper <laughs> help. Cool. Like Snakes running in right the right. swamp grass. A one? <laughs> uh, we can try and move into it. Roger that. Right, let's go. We're gonna pre Look uh, at this. <laughs> this is the sneakiest things ever. You're gonna get shot in the back. Oh. <laughs> Viper's got an MG... Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at the it's just this is suppression at its finest. This is exactly what it's supposed to be. You don't need to see them. You just need to make sure it's where they're scared hey, to peek. Hey, who's this? Who's this? Beats. Yeah. 17, 17. 18. He's loading, high. yeah, on top of that rock here. Hi, I'm loading, loading. Oh fuck. Get taking down, shots, get taking down. shots. They're all in there. Good base of fire from the squad. Uh, Bartok Warrior, Doku Genri, and Liberal Pundit. Super close to Hero here. Hero's a really good shot. He can 100% 1v3, but uh, he has to get the jump on him. Hero sees Liberal Pundit. Liberal Pundit goes down, or goes prone. He's still alive. Six, uh, 
uh, update on kills seven to seven still a, it's still an even game oh here he's got an mg with a bike a bipod this is a, this is a good position for him Oh, Doge is going to get shot Everyone in the face here. Mortar over the house, or excuse me, frag grenade over the house? Not far enough. I like the idea though. Really, really good idea. Mortars onto the house from the militia. Don't take out anybody. Hero goes down to his left flank from Liberal Pundit. Get it from a couple sides. That's how you have to do it. Good, uh, good communication there from Ryu and Liberal Pundit. Liberal Pundit gets uh, hurt. Money man to west. Enemy wars are to our north. Go again, Kent. Where and when do you? Approximate enemy wars are in K seven six five. Squad are uh, able to push in out a bit because the mortars could be coming close. Get on my position. You're gonna cover our rear. I'm sending Phoenix to for medical. Can't tell if Swamp Division is working because they focused on it or if it's failing because they've been in a circle and seem outgunned. They do seem outgunned. Um, I feel... Ooh, three could, do, three could do some work here. Three can do a lot of work here. Let's actually go check that out. I do feel like this the Swamp... I think they collapsed in too soon. I think if they go, if they lose or if they, they, they don't uh, complete their objective, it's going to be because... Or, or hold their objective, I should say. It's gonna be because they they fell back too soon. They didn't. Yes, they lost a couple guys holding some key locations, but they didn't lose enough, in my opinion, to be forced to fall back. Look at this combo RPG AK they've got. What is he holding? Which gun do you think he has out right now? <laughs> the militia and their sneaky weapons modifications. Duct tape that shit together, right? <laughs> Contact close on one. One's made a push. One's made a really big push. They're coming up close. Two. Two, are you able to send ammo to us? What a push. Uh, I can try and come back to you, yes. Oh, <laughs> oh Sledby goes down. Miyamoto is hurt. This is just dirty fighting right here. Just in into it right here. Zeke pushing push into Alicool. As close as CQB, as close quarters as it can get in the open. Because this isn't cover, it's just concealment. All of this is just concealment. None of this is going to block bullets. It's just hiding people. There's, uh, any problems, like, it's an Avtomot Av Rocket <laughs> Grenade 19. <laughs> wow, I have really like the call from Evan to push in here. It's, just, it's very, very aggressive. Look at him push. Good squad comms, or good local comms. Fiber running right by them. Look at that. See, they don't even see each other in this. They've lost sight of Fiber, and he's two feet from him. Fiber finally goes down. <laughs> Bart needs some Vietnam music playing in the background. Right? Like, this is swamp fighting. Imagine, like... Actual, like if you are a person in this, this is just be just dirty, gross fighting. You're just full of mud and water. You're going prone in this. Like this is just as dirty as it gets. They're pushing them so hard. Burke goes down. Oh, that was a ninja licious. Accidentally team killed a guy. No. This is way too close. Command was down. That was an accident. Right, I'm throwing a frag. Watch out. Command has gone down because of three co completing the flank has pressure on the west. I'm pushing, Good frag. Progress. Good uh, frag takes out three, coolest guy. Push, north, push straight north and go east after that. Gotcha. Best Pony's got a, a nice go little flank here. Location. Hopefully he can uh, close in on this. But you, JK, and Kumquat, Senpai have the counter flank. I have my Bravo clearing the buildings to our north to make sure it's not in there. Beats goes down. The push was good by uh, Evan. He just didn't have the follow-up in time. I believe 4 is now getting in this. That sucked being inside that. It looks it looks cool. It looked like it would be fun to fight in, honestly. 
Copy that force coming. Viper and Lima holding silent back. Do this. You shouldn't be afraid to use full auto when sight is still limited. Spray each bush you're closing in on, right? Squad four, just your buddy team straight south. Yeah, said UJ key come quite and and senpai should just push south. Get these guys. They, mm -hmm. When they were here, they should have pushed south. I think they've got the upper hand. I think Red still has the upper hand. 20 kills for the Russians. 17 for the militia. Evan SMA going to go down here to uh, not an NSA spy. Yeah, I called that. But uh, not an NSA spy gives away his position to Ninjalicious. UJ Key and friends uh, pulling up to reinforce. Tony is still trying to kick him out of his swamp, right? He's trying. Hawk goes down. Tom Quad goes down and not an NSA spy. This fighting is just brutal. Pistol fighting. EJ Pete takes out Captain Dillon. Bragg takes out Senpai. 23 to 23. Militia bringing it back. Best Pony pushing in for the counter flank. It's anybody's game, honestly. They drew them into the swamp, they, and then they, they just fought them back there's out of the swamp. There's no more. In, there's no more Russians in the swamp. Except, silent. Okay. Silent's the only one remaining in Pony's swamp. He's got control again. But how much? Squad leader died. We only have four man strength. Roger that. Not an NSA spy and Best Pony. Only two remaining on the point proper. Um. They got Blackbeard and a couple guys. Blackbeard, I'm Moneys, and Sloth Boy. Who actually Blackbeard's in a really nice position here. Sloth Boy goes down. No, it's Revy. Revy took out one. He doesn't see Liberal Pundit. Liberal Pundit sees him though. Did we not clear out the marsh? Liberal Pundit lost him. I thought he saw him for sure. No, he sees him. Liberal Pundit. Revy doesn't see him. Look at him spraying. He doesn't see anything. <laughs> Liberal Pundit takes him out. Never fight insurgents in a swamp. That's how the Vikings lost England in the 10th century. That's history for you. <laughs> that is. That's good. I like that. Did they happen to get. Did you happen to get how close I was with the rocket on the heli last round? Um, what do you mean on the rocket? I know uh, Bartok War is the one who took out the rock, the, the, the heli. But, uh, no. Any other rocket shot onto the heli, I, I missed. BVD Runner taking control of the militia Dishka, firing into the swamp. Not an NSA spy pony. Again, last two remaining for them on this point. Stebby V. No, it's Karma Cut, still alive. Running in to try and reinforce his guys. Who's left? 28 to 25 Russians in the lead. But it's still, it's swamp fighting. He can, not an NSA spy, can take out all three of these guys. Frag out. Not unless a frag lands on his head. We'll see. Too far. <laughs> Not an NSA spy goes down to vindication. All right. The radio. The radio is definitely on the island. I money is best yeah, pony. Visual on the radio. Still alive. Uh, where'd Karma Cat go? Is Karma Cat still alive? Yeah, I think Karma Cat died. BTR is still alive though, and that is huge. I think Best Pony and I Money's are the only two remaining for the U, uh, for the Russians. Well, well, excuse me, for the militia while they are still destroying it. Nine left for the U. Uh, uh, excuse me, nine left for the Russians. Two left for the militia. Nine versus two. Best Pony has the is on the back foot. Can he clear them out? Enemy vehicle close to the east, probably 100 meters. All right, SPG. I missed it, Alito Six. I'm sorry. Okay. Radio's on 
Amonis takes out Liberal Pundit. Can he take out Uzi? I believe the Russians are going to be able to take this. Yeah, it looks like Pony had gone down to, uh, yeah, Team Nova, t uh, Team Nova goes down, but he took out Best Pony in return. Muffin Man, Vindication, BBD Runner, and Silence still alive. Atomic Peach and X is still rolling around in their BTR. I Money's last man standing. I Money's goes down to Exta. I believe that is it for the Russians. That is GG. Great job for the Russians and their movement and their use of their BTRs. I like that was almost perfect BTR use. It, it, he he stayed with his infantry. He That's supported his infantry, and he never was over aggressive. Helicopters uh, less than one. useful both rounds. Um, good job. I killed no the, the militia. I really <laughs> like their their plan.